Hey friends, and welcome to Mrs. G's Kitchen. Cooking with Mrs. G today, we are going to make fruit smoothies. All right, before we begin, always remember the kitchen rules. Never touch food without washing your hands. Always have an adult helping you in the kitchen and never ever take anything with nuts to school. All right, let's begin by washing our hands. Nice warm water, and some soap. What song should we sing today, friends? A, B, C, okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, C, H, L, M, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Next time we'll be the same with me. All right, rinse them off. Give them a good shake so water doesn't go in her. And dry them. Now we made fruit smoothies at school once before. But in case anybody wasn't there, um, and our new friends at the piano want to learn how, well, this is what we're going to do. Everybody in my class in room 18 knows that my blender is super loud. So when we go to mix our ingredients, it's going to be very loud, friends. So if you need to cover your ears, go ahead. But if you don't need to, don't worry about it. Some people have different kind of blenders at home. One where it has the big thing. I have that too, but because I'm just making a smoothie for me, I have one like this that attaches to a very sharp blade. Make sure your parents always help you with this because I've cut my fingers on here and that wasn't pretty. It, was, it hurt really bad. Okay, so I'm gonna make just for me today. So I'm just gonna use a little one, not the big one. So what Miss G likes to have in her smoothies is some frozen fruit. You can use frozen fruit or you can use uh, fresh fruit, but when I use frozen fruit, I don't have to use ice then. Okay, so what I do is I buy a bunch of different kind of fruits and then I mix them in together into different bags. So this one has strawberries, mango, and pineapples. Those are some of my favorite fruits. So I'm going to just put in probably about a cup worth of, of uh, frozen berries and fruit. And I'm going to use a banana. I know it's going brown here, but it'll be great for a smoothie. That's why I'm going to use it in this one. Because you'll never know the difference. Okay. And besides, when it's brown like that, that means it's ripe, and that's when it's super sweet. And then I'm gonna cut an orange. I like oranges in my smoothies. No, I'm not gonna put the peeling in, but I could with my machine, I could add it, but I'm actually just gonna take the peelings off first. And put it in. Ooh, squirting all over the place. Watch out, Mr. G, you might get your eyes. Mr. G is Mrs. G's husband. He's helping me film my videos. Okay. Now with Mrs. G's blender, I don't have to use any kind of liquids usually in it because it's a very powerful machine. But sometimes I like to add in juices. Um, a juice that I really like to add into my smoothies is orange juice or cranberry juice. Those are my two favorite juices. And so I have some orange juice here. If you don't have orange juice, um, you can use any kind of juice you want. And I'm only going to add in about a half a cup. Mmm. And then my favorite thing, Greek yogurt. Just gonna give it a stir. 
If you don't have Greek yogurt at home, you can use just normal yogurt, any kind. I only buy vanilla yogurt for myself because I add it with fruits usually. Um, so if you have different yogurts at home you want to use, go right ahead. And I put in about a half a cup. And I'm not going to waste this. Because I love yogurt. Okay. Next, friends, we're going to put the blade on. Now, if you have ice you want to use too, you can use ice. Hey, doesn't that look cool? All the liquid was up here, and then when I flipped it over, it went to the bottom. Pretty cool, hey? There it goes again. Kind of like a snow globe. We could call it a smoothie globe, though. All right, friends. This is where the machine is going to get really, really loud. So I'm going to lock it into place by turning it into the machine. And if you look right here, these are my startup buttons. So this red button right here tells Mrs. G to push here. And then it gives me options of what I want to choose. So mine says smoothies. So I'm going to push it. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Loveness. <laughs> take a look and see what's happened all of our fruit and our orange juice and our yogurt has all been crushed and blended together and made into a smoothie a nice smooth consistency right let's just finish it off <laughs> It only takes about 30 seconds to one minute for it to become all smoothed out. Let's take off the lid and take a look inside. See friends? It's now all liquid formed a nice thick liquid. Let's take a taste. Mmm, that's delicious. What do you taste in yours? You taste strawberries? Mm, me too. Oranges? I taste oranges too. Really? You taste bananas? Are you sure? Just a little bit. All right, friends. That's how Missy G makes her smoothies. I hope you enjoyed it. Make your smoothie however you want. All right, friends. Until next time, I hope you guys will be safe and take care. And, uh... We will be making stuffed Nutella cookies on the next episode of Cooking with Mrs. G. All right, friends. Bye for now. Miss you.